Na mtazamaji tukie salia katika masuala ya elimu shule za sekondari msingi ya nijuni ya secondary schools zilifunguliwa rasmi wiki hii. Katika kaunti ya Busia wizara ya elimu imelezea hali ni shwari katika shule zilizo na wanafunzi wa grade ya saba. Wazazi wakitakiwa kuwapeleka wanao shuleni wale wanafunzi ambao wanafaa kujiunga na grade ya saba. Robert Malala anaelezea zaidi. Afisa anayesimamia ubora wa elimu katika kaunti ya Busia William Makori ameelezea kuridhishwa na idadi ya wanafunzi ambao wameripoti kujiunga na shule za sekondari msingi huku akifichwa kwa kila mwanafunzi atapata elimu ya bure akiongea mjini Busia wakati wa hafla kuwaaga wanafunzi 41 ambao wamenufaika na mpango wa elimu scholarship unaofadhiliwa na benki moja hapa nchini makuri ametoa unyokali kwa walimu wakuu ambao watawaitisha wazazi wa wanafunzi wa shule ya sekondari msingi pesa zozote ya kuwa atakabiliwa kwa mujibu wa shule secondary school uh, uh, the implementation is in progress already on 30th of uh, january school started receiving the grade seven learners and they are in their schools uh, the programs are uh, being put in place to ensure that they start learning the teacher service commissioner has started posting teachers who will be handling those classes the government through the ministry of education has started disputing the books and the plans are underway that each learner should get 15000 shillings from the ministry of education and we are saying like any other level of learning in basic education junior secondary education is absolutely free but we have advised our communities we have sent circulars to our schools that nobody should charge any unauthorized levies hata hivyo mmoja wa maskofu katika kaunti ya Busia John Sireka ametoa changamoto kwa serikali ya kitaifa kuhakikisha kwa shule hizo mpya zinaendelesha kwa njia mwafaka bila kuwa mzigo kwa wazazi jambo la junior secondary school bado lina mkanganyo kidogo kwa kuwa tumesikia mara ikisemekana kwamba watoto wengine hawatasomea pale penye walikuwa na ikiwa hawa watoto watatolewa penye walikuwa inamaanisha kwamba wataenda shule nyingine mbali kidogo na itahitaji mikakati fulani ya kusaidia either kama ni kulala huko ama mambo na transporti kwa hivyo jambo la junior second halijaeleweka vizuri kabisa na tunaomba serikali itokee na mambo ambayo yako wazi jinsi junior second school itaweza kuongozwa Aidha meneja bengi moja hapa nchini tawi la Busia Oscar Masinde amefichua kwa wanafunzi arobaini moja ambao wanatoka katika familia maskini katika maeneo bunge ya Budalangi, Funyula, Butula, Matayos na Nambale wamepata ufadhili wa masomo ya shule za upili. Hatua hiyo imepongezwa na Skofu John Sireka ambaye amesema kwa ufadhili huo umepiga JK sekta elimu kaunti ya Busia ikizingatua kwa asilimia kubwa wenyeji wanakumbwa na umaskini leo tumejumuika hapa ku flag of wanafunzi wa uh, elimu scholarship um, they applied 723 and we had uh, locations in each of the five sub counties it's not very different from what we had done in the past only that uh, the numbers went down slightly because uh, the scholarship is being spread out. Uh, across a very large area uh, last year i think we had 77 this year we had uh, we had 41 uh, ombi langu ni kwamba banks zingine pia zingeliiga hili swala na nikaweza kuungana na equity kusaidia jamii ambazo watoto wao wangelitaka waende shule lakini hawana uwezo 100% transition haiwezi kukuwa realized kama hakuna uwezo wa kusaidia jamii ambazo hazijiwezi. Robert Malala Nyota TV County ya Busia. Namshukrani sana uh, mwanabari wetu kutoka County ya Busia Robert Malala na mtazamaji